Drama, drama, drama. Guys, we have so much drama with 90 Day Fiance to talk about today, especially with Colt, Larissa, and even Larissa's friend Carmen, who now might have actually dated Colt and dated Eric. Okay, what is up, everyone? Max here, the Celeb Talk Guy, and like I just said, there has been so much social media drama with Colt and Jess and Larissa and Eric and Carmen, and now even Vanessa, and now even Nick. Nick Hogan, yes, Hulk Hogan's son and his like wife or girlfriend or fiance, whatever she is. So, so much drama to talk about that went down yesterday. And first, we must give credit to 90 Day The Melanated Way. They are by far one of the best Instagram accounts for 90 Day Fiance stuff. I'm going to put a link above or below this video. Please, guys, seriously, give them a follow. They are the ones that actually took these screenshots. They are incredible. I love them dearly. So, show them some love. But it all basically started a couple of days ago when we already kind of know Jess and both Larissa were really going off on how much they just hate Colt because Colt had a picture, a photoshopped picture actually, of Jess, Larissa, and Vanessa on his OnlyFans account. So they kind of started it. They were really going off at him. And at one point, Larissa even told Colt, she said, hey, you know, move on with your life and stop, you know, trying to drag me into all this crap in your life. We are divorced. We are done. So just move on. Okay, so then after all that stuff happened, Colt started his OnlyFans account. This woman named Tana Lee, that is her name, I believe. She is an actress of some sort for adults, I think. That's all I'm going to say. And she is either dating or engaged or married to Nick Hogan. Yes, Hulk Hogan's son, who I believe is like related somehow to Colt. So Nick Hogan and Colt, they are very good friends. And Tana Lee, who is, you know, huge on social media, she was the one that actually went out and posted that Carmen, Larissa's friend right there, was dating Colt before all the stuff went down. So basically what she said was right there. She pretty much just said, hey guys, newsflash, Carmen dated Colt before Larissa. Then she said some more stuff and she said, I am done with Brazilian girls attacking Vanessa. What's up? Let go. Oh wait, Larissa and Jess both blocked me. So of course, you can only imagine if you are Carmen, she's getting tagged. And once, you know, this Tana Lee lady said that, hey, you know, Colt did date Carmen, Larissa's very good friend, everyone went crazy on social media. And that is when Carmen posted these two very long posts saying her side of the story. She said this, saying, I woke up this morning with many people sending me DMs asking if I dated Colt. LOL, I did not. I would never. Colt is just mad because he knows Jess and I became friends and she is in my house right now having a blast in Vegas. She also has a handsome new boyfriend that introduced that I introduced to her, excuse me. I have been friends with Larissa for 11 years and since I met Jess a year ago, we talk every day. Now we are friends too. Colt also can't deal with the fact that I bailed Larissa out and gave her shelter when she most needed and now she is an independent woman. She was not deported as him and his mother Land. I am here helping the girls he used, cheated, and manipulated. Right now, he and his mistress, Vanessa, are posting that I dated him before Larissa. <sighs> okay, that was a lot. So basically, Carmen just denied, denied, denied. She said that Colt is still mad, he's still upset, and he is still lying. And if that was not enough for you guys, she also posted this as well. Saying, because it is not enough for him to break the girls, he needs to see them destroyed. His sociopath blank can't deal with the fact that I am here for them. Dude, I have many things in common with my girlfriends except for their taste in men. I would never date a creepy guy like you. I would rather be single for the rest of my life. You low life blank needs to come up with a better lie. Only idiots will believe on anything coming from you, a cheater and his mistress. You both showed who you really are on this season, and I really hope TLC stops giving you space to use women on national TV. I won't talk about this matter again because I have a real life, real job, and things more important to do. I am not on OnlyFans traumatizing people to make money like him. And if that also wasn't enough for you guys, do you guys remember that Natalie Coco lady that, you know, Larissa was talking to on a couple episodes ago of 90 Day Fiance. You know, she was the lady that Eric kind of had a relationship with blah, blah, blah. We all remember her, right? Okay, for some reason, I don't know why, but for some reason, she cannot stand Larissa and she has been posting 
all of this crap about Larissa and Eric trying to just you know call them out and expose them well she also kind of got in on this drama and her and Carmen Larissa's friend had a little bit of an exchange so on social media this Carmen you know person reached out to Natalie and said oh my god Larissa was using my tinder to meet guys because she did not want to be recognized and she talked to Eric who is definitely not my type you bash him all day so wow 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 I don't even know where to begin really quick though I will share my thoughts so I like I said I don't even know this is just insane I don't know who to believe However, I am kind of leaning more towards Carmen. Now, I have no reason to not believe Colt and Vanessa, even though, I mean, you know, Colt doesn't have the best track record, but let's be real. I really don't know Vanessa, and I really don't know Carmen. So, a lot of this stuff is coming from Vanessa, because Vanessa, Colt's new girlfriend, she was even kind of in the middle of it, too. So, yeah, I don't know who to believe, and I don't know what to think. So, put in the comments below what you guys think, whose side you're on, but if I had to pick a side, for you guys, I would probably be leaning a little bit more towards Carmen. I mean, what are the odds that Colt actually dated Carmen? There is just no way. Even though if she did date Colt, I will say, I am positive and I can guarantee she would not be loud and proud and, you know, waving the flag that she dated that guy because it is just embarrassing and weird and he isn't, you know, the greatest guy in the whole world. So I am sure if she did ever date him, she probably wouldn't be very vocal about it, but her reasoning did kind of sound true. I mean, she basically just said that, hey, Colt's not my type. And there were also rumors that, you know, Carmen dated Eric as well, but she claims that Larissa was using her Tinder account and that's where she met Eric. Yeah, that is that's a little bit weird. I mean, I don't really know why someone would use someone else's Tinder because it's like on Tinder, you're swiping basically just off of looks. And if you are under someone else's different profile and using someone else's pictures, it's kind of almost like catfishing. So I don't know if what happened when Eric matched with, you know, Carmen, but it was really Larissa. Like that's just weird in itself. So I don't know, it, some reason, honestly, Carmen's stuff really doesn't sound very believable now that I'm kind of saying it out loud because like, why would Larissa be using her Tinder? That doesn't sound Sound very believable and I mean the fact that she's not interested in Colt that does kind of sound believable but I could see this going either way for some reason my gut is telling me that Carmen is telling the truth I don't know why and my gut is also telling me that Colt and maybe even Vanessa and Colt's you know cousin or whatever this Nick Hogan guy and his you know girlfriend whatever he's in a relationship with that Tana Lee lady I feel like they're starting you know just trying to start drama kind of for no reason and also kind of just to promote Colt's OnlyFans because this all just clearly stemmed off of Colt's OnlyFans and it's like he's getting tons and tons and tons of exposure. I can't even imagine, you guys, how much money he is making because surprisingly, shocker, a lot of people have messaged me more than you would ever even imagine saying that, hey, yes, I did sign up for Colt's OnlyFans just for fun. I thought it'd be funny and it's like, it's $25 a month. Okay, so if people are signing up for that for fun, I am in the wrong business, I guess, because, I mean, what what kind of fun are you going to get on Colt's OnlyFans? But I figured he'd get a handful, four or five, really bizarre, no offense, but some really bizarre people to sign up and want to see what's inside his OnlyFans account. But boy, I was wrong because I literally probably got over 100 messages just yesterday of people saying, yeah, I signed up for it. So I don't know, but I really do feel like this drama is just from Colt and Vanessa. They're trying to stir the pot and start some drama so he can get more people and more exposure to sign up for his OnlyFans. And like I said at the beginning of this video, I have a little teaser for the upcoming season of The Family Chantel. And yes, yes, yes. I'm like right there with you guys. I know not a lot of you guys are the biggest fan of Chantal and her family and Pedro and his family, but let me just say I wasn't very excited, but when I saw this little teaser spoiler from TLC, Oh my God, you guys, honestly, I hate to tell you this, but the season looks pretty good. First thing first, we got to find out that Chantel has an older brother named Royal. Now let me just say, I found out. I have watched 
what I thought was, you know, all the episodes that they were in, but supposedly Chantel has an older brother. I was not aware. So if you guys are aware, maybe I missed something. I'm sorry, but I was not aware. And it sounds like in this new season, we are going to see him, but he is not going to be alone. He is going to be with a woman that he has met over in the Philippines. Now, we don't know if he was living there or if he would met her online. I don't know that for sure. But what we heard from TLC was that Chantel was very nervous and weary and just kind of afraid that what if she is using her brother to come on over to America? And I'm reading this thinking, Chantel, you met a man over, you know, not really overseas, but you met a man outside of the U.S. What are you talking about? You went through the exact same process. So it's like, if anything, you should be understanding, not judgmental. So it sounds like we're going to have a lot of drama with Chantel's brother and his new woman. And obviously we're going to see a lot of drama with Chantel and Pedro because they're pretty much never ending. And if that wasn't enough, it also sounds like Pedro's sister, who is in the Dominican Republic, who, let me just say, absolutely categorically hates Chantel. I'm sure you guys all remember, but it sounds like she also met a man in like New Jersey. And I'm sure she's going to be on the season and we're going to see her maybe come over to the US and maybe get married. So I, I don't know why I'm so excited. This new season airs, I want to say October 12th, maybe the 14th. And last but not least for the day, I do want to spill a little bit of beans that I heard from Soap Dirt. Now I'm going to put a link above or below this video to the exact Soap Dirt article. I just thought it was kind of interesting. And I know a lot of you guys like Molly. She was was from 90 Day Fiance a handful of seasons ago. She was with the man Louise, who was also from the Dominican Republic. Their relationship from the start was just completely god awful. I'm sure you guys know who I'm talking about. Well, they ended up getting married kind of like in secrecy, but they got married. No one knew. Her entire family was upset. And lo and behold, Louise ended up just being a god awful person. And they ended up eventually going their separate ways. Well, we knew that Louise was still in the States. And then all of a sudden, come to find out, we just recently found out, well, not too recently, but we did find out that Louise remarried. So we were all just like, what? So obviously, you know, he remarried in like three or four or five months. He remarried very quickly, which that just tells me one thing. Okay, he used Molly to come to America and then so she would pay for all his bills and this and that and the visa and all that crap because it is really expensive to get the green card and the K-1 visa. It's not cheap. So he just used her and then he probably already had this woman over here. That's probably when he figured I'll just come here, you know, from Molly and then I'll eventually leave Molly and go to this other woman because if he got married in like four or five months, he obviously had a backup plan. But that's not even the craziest part. We have now found Found out in present day that he is getting deported back to the Dominican Republic. And so a lot of us were wondering, well, what in God's name was the reasoning why he got deported? And it sounds like from this Soap Dirt article, which I will link once again above below this video so you can check out for yourself. Now, they don't know for sure, but it does sound like that the woman he ended up marrying like, might not have actually been a U.S. citizen her herself, so she couldn't even sponsor Louise because when Louise and Molly did get a divorce, you know, Molly just washed her hands of the whole thing and said, I am not sponsoring his green card. I am not going to do anything with this. So she cleaned her hands of it and he needed to get someone else Else, I guess to sponsor the green card. So now it sounds like his new wife might not even have been a US citizen. And maybe there's more to the story. Maybe she didn't have the funds or who really knows to support him or a steady enough job. But we do now know that he is getting out of the US. And honestly, real quick, let me just say I'm ecstatic. I never, ever, ever, ever liked him. And I always, 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 always liked Molly. And I still do like Molly. She's on Pillow Talk. She's hilarious. She is sweet. I wish her nothing but the best. And I think a lot of you guys like Molly too. And the good news with that is we now know, thanks to John Yates and Soap Dirt and everyone else, that there is going to be a new 90 Day Fiance spinoff with the single ladies from 90 Day Fiance. And the cool part that I'm so excited about is we have now confirmed that Danielle, Danielle and Mohammed, yes, Danielle is going to be on it. And I'm like 99% confident that we're also going to see Molly. So I'm excited. I'm really excited to see her. I like her. I wish her nothing but the best. Hope she can find love. And I'm also kind of excited, yay, 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 to see Louise get out of here because he totally 100% used her. So guys, 
Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed that drama. Like I said, I'm going to link above to 90 Day The Melanated Way, above or below this video. Unbelievably amazing Instagram account. If you are on Instagram, they're right there with John Yates, The Frauder by TLC Podcast, and 90 Day The Melanated Way. I also love 187 Anonymous Gossip. Those are the four accounts I would suggest. And of course, hey, you know, if you are following people, what the heck, you might as well follow me too. But 90 Day The Melanated Way, they're amazing. They're incredible. They post several times a day. I love them dearly, so show them some love. Well, guys, like I said, hope you enjoy the video. Make sure to stay tuned for many more. Tap that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the comments below. I want to hear you guys thoughts on everything and stay tuned for many more videos.